right, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Monday, August 10th, 2020, and I am actually on my way to meet with Rich of Sawyer Creek Artistry. I am going to pick up our order, and I wanted to come pick up the order because I wanted to get some clarity on a few items that were listed on the website. So, um, I decided that the best way to do that would be to do a little road trip. Um, he's about two and a half hours or so away from my home. I'm going to actually pick up Kevin, so maybe I'll insert a clip here. But I just thought that I would um, let you all know what I'm up to. I'm actually just left my house. I had to um, wait a little bit to leave because I forgot that I had a dog grooming apartment appointment for um, little Miss Pagey, my grand dog. So. I had to take her to the groomer and of course on the day that I wanted to get on the highway it took them two hours instead of one hour to have her ready so I think they're short of staff today because they normally have three or four people working and I only saw two today so It's Kevin of Kevin the Quilter with T of T Quilts. So I just got Kevin. We're in Wentzville. We still got a good hour and a half drive or so to go, but just thought that I'd let you see Kevin's here. <laughs> Hi quilters. I just want to insert that when I arrived at the Wood Turner's home, they were not comfortable being put on YouTube in videos. So therefore I was just doing some recording of basic materials. And I am going to put that at the end of the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some of the items that they had for sale that I actually have in my possession and kind of explain to you because we're just kind of having a communication chat. And I do want to include some of that because I feel like you get a feel for how personable they are. And also they did tell me that they only use fallen trees that they are dead trees that they don't actually cut uh, nature to make their products so I thought that was really cool as well so I'm going to go ahead and point you down and explain what's available for sale and then I may have to insert some photos as well because I don't have everything in my possession okay and I will let you know what you can order in a custom wood so if you want any of these items to match what you currently have you can do that and or if you're just newly ordering you know what you can order in the wood choices which I'll also add a photo at the end of this segment before I add them in so that you'll know all the wood choices if you don't want to see the ending of the video okay so let me go ahead and point you down and get started so I'm going to start with this box here and I'm just going to take some things out temporarily <laughs> okay the first thing that people are interested in ordering are the wood press and so that's what kind of started this journey and so you can order a wood press. The wood presses are $15 each. And you just use it to uh, dry press your seam so that you don't have to go to and heat it iron after sewing every seam. And then in addition to that, you can get a seam ripper combo with a stiletto. Okay, so the thing I like about these is that you don't have to worry about losing your caps on our traditional tools and then they both flip in when they're not in use so that they're safe for travel this unit by itself is $30 I have been selling these in sets they're $45 it's the same price it's as if you're buying them individually so it doesn't matter just keep that in mind <laughs> And then this is your needle case. A lot of people like to take hand sewing needles 
and put in needle cases so that they know where they are they're not in the little small packaging and you can also put your sewing machine needles in here as well you just have to make sure that you keep one for each size of needle and then maybe mark it some kind of way and then the next piece is our mini tool set and to me this is something that you use for very small uh, things like your eyeglasses things that have very tiny screws this will not work on your home sewing machines I am working with him to try to develop something that we can use for our home sewing machines and it's a little bit difficult because you've got so many different brands of machines and they all got different uh, screw tools that you need to open so we're not sure how that's going to go at this time but then also you know you have this one and then you actually take your piece i guess i should show you that as well let me just put this back on temporarily and so you're actually sticking your piece in here and it's a mag magnet in there that's holding your piece in here and then you just use it to screw and I actually did use this to uh, fix a pair of eyeglasses that I had so it does work for that but you have some flatheads and then you also have uh, a Phillip. The next thing he sells is the seam ripper necklace or the necklace seam ripper and i like the chain i actually like using this i think it would be great at retreats and so you can just turn it and put it on the inside and just for information purposes this is tequila sunrise wood set and this is neon wood set here but you can actually wear this around your neck i did test this out and I wore this around my neck for a few hours and I didn't feel like it was very cumbersome. So I think at retreats where you're needing to keep track of your seam ripper and, and you're walking around, then this is great. The next thing is a stylus that's also a seam ripper. So if you, or you have a computerized sewing machine, either long arm or domestic, then this is great for that. You got your seam ripper on the one side and then you've got your stylus here on the opposite side. Both of these items here are $30 each. And then this is something that we're going we're still working on. This is the one that we're trying to make for our actual sewing machine, so I won't be discussing that. Okay. So, all of these tools come in any style that you choose so just keep that in mind for future and we're gonna show you all the different wood styles later the next item I'm showing you is a ripper rest and you can actually take your ripper and put it inside here I know some people said that they were having difficulty with it rolling and if you want something fancy then you can get the ripper rest this is six dollars and then you can also put some of the shelf liner stuff on the back and then that would also keep your wood from slipping now i've had some people that tell me that they also have put rubber bands on their tool to keep it from rolling as well but i just wanted to give you the option also if you need to a replacement for your stiletto blade and or your ripper then we have those available as well they are six dollars each And so this is concluding what we have for actual sewing notions. Next is the crochet set. And I have the nine piece crochet set here. And you get to pick your handle. This one here is African Violet. It was one that wasn't on the original photo of designs. And I really liked it. So I opted to get this in this design. Uh, he does mention that these are made for the thinner hooks, these boxes. But if you want, you can take an X-Acto blade and cut this open deeper. So you can just push this in. But the box, for me, does close. Has a magnetic closure. So it does close without me having to push it down. So I'm just going to leave my box, leave my box as is. And then you've got 
nine crochet hooks the other one is in here so you've got eight resting in these slots they go from sizes C through K and you can also buy a six piece set that goes from C through H okay and then you can also buy just the three for um, the larger ones if you've already got the small set and you just want to add on your three they would be ten dollars for each one that you add on okay so for the six piece set it is sixty dollars and for the nine piece set it is ninety dollars then it just comes in here like this and then the other thing that we're also making some modifications to is the sewing machine this is the standard sewing machine holder it's a actual shape of a sewing machine they do make these items for every state including hawaii also puerto rico and you can just put your rulers in here and this is a ruler base where you're it's going to be flat this ruler rack is thirty dollars and he's making a larger one that's going to be about 18 to 19 inches long. And what he's going to do with that is on the back, he's going to add mounting screws. So you can hang it on a wall. And it's going to have slotted. Like these are straight openings. The other ones are going to be in at a 45 degree angle so that you can slot it. And those will be $55 each. So if you want the longer one, you'd have to uh, let me know if you want the standard sewing machine ruler holder or do you want the machine ruler holder that is for hanging on a wall, okay? And then also in the video, it's they have in the video it shows that they sell a few other items that I did not purchase yet. They have the wine glasses that you can use any kind of wood you want so you can do your custom wood for the wine glasses they're $15 each wine glass they also have screwdrivers that you can select your wood of choice and those are $30 they have the knob hand the ball handle which is like a knob to me and then you can get the long handle and then they did say that they have one that has like a three bump handle but they didn't have any of that one in stock and the screwdrivers are thirty dollars each they also showed in the video where they had a bottle opener and it I don't know the price of the bottle opener I'm getting that from the owner but if I get it before this video go up I will make sure I insert it here uh, with text across the item they also sell binding winders they're not bobbin winders there are binding winders where they're just a piece of wood that has a slat for you to wind your bobbin pieces on those are 350 each okay so I think that's it for this section, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the video of us with the wood turner so you can get a feel for how they are. I'm sorry, that's my motor. Yeah, that was the kit. Okay. That's how it started, and they were very, very okay. popular. Six sizes. Six sizes. And it closes, it closes up just like the huh. same ripper does. I just want to see what the weight is. Okay. That's like, it's, it's aluminum. It's yeah. all aluminum. Okay. So C, D, F, G, and H. And you know, you can you swap them out as you need them. Mm-hmm. And this? So, so that was the first kit that came out. Okay. Yeah, so we sold those for a couple of years. And then we have that. Then, then finally, then, they came out with I, J, and K. Yeah. So they were separate. They were separate, I, J, and K. They didn't come in the box. You had to, I had to buy these separate. And we figured, well, you know, a good idea would be to just put them together as a group for people that are doing like Afghans and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They're going to use the larger ones. And then, I don't know, like a year after that, they decided to come out with basically that box. 
just like that. Okay. And we buy it. It comes. So with... we would we would get that. So that's what we would buy. And then if we went and bought the I J and K, mm -hmm. there was room to put them in. Okay. So you know, basically, you can get a a set of six, a set of nine. Okay. And every once in a while, someone says, "You know, I just want a C and a D." It's like, you know, we can do that. You know, it's just, okay. it's a little bit of. And the big, this there. is the biggest one. That's the biggest one. There. Okay. Yeah. Which K. is the uh, that's the J. Then this is the biggest K. one. Yeah, the K. 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 J, K. Yeah, it's the K. Okay. And then to confuse the issue even more, we have. Oh. What I what I also can do is I can take a regular aluminum like a, I don't know, L, and they're the really really fat ones. I can I can take an aluminum one. Like an O. Yeah. It's really fat. Sure, really we fat. We used to use those to make the open weave scarf. There you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you wanted like a, a couple of those to fit, you know, to, to swap them out just like mm -hmm. this is, what I would do is I would get the actual hook from like Joann's or somebody like that. Okay. And then on my lathe, you know, it's going to be really thick. On my lathe, I then turn it down to that diameter. Oh, okay. So, so it'll, it still it'll fit in. inside of it, right? Okay. And every once in a while someone says, I... They don't want to be interchangeable. They've got they've got hooks that they really really like, and can I put a wooden handle on them? Like, sure. I mean that's what this is. This was okay. I think I think it was somebody wanted a Susan Boyd or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. And they were very specific about the ones they wanted. Boyd. And yeah. I I just we we just worked with them to find out what felt good in their hand. Mm -hmm. And then I just made you know six of those, drilled them Let out. Let me feel that one because that one's oh it's really light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like it doesn't one, have too. it does not have the brass tube mm -hmm. like right. the rest of Yeah, it this one's really light, but nice. Okay, so now, uh, so you make these two, mm -hmm. the yep. wood part. Yep. Then would that ever be something that's made in color? Because just yep. in case like, somebody any, asks me, any any, any color that you've ever seen, anything. So like then, would it cost more for the color wood? No. Nope. Okay, just making yeah. sure because nope. they asked me. They started asking me questions. Oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I don't no know. <laughs> Okay, now, just for information purposes, we have very few boxes with with only six uh, places for Most the hooks. Most of them have the nine. The rest of them are nine. Okay. Yeah, but, they, but they only have six hooks. And so what's the retail value of six and then the retail value of nine? Just that's 60. 60. Okay, and 90. and 90. So it's $10 a hook for Basically. the most yeah. part. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking these were table decorations. Did you just know? I, no, I noticed those when we walked over here. Those are Look beautiful. Look at that. This, yeah, is, this is our newest product. Brand new. Yeah, we just yeah. started doing that. These are wine glasses mm -hmm. with a turned wooden handle. And you'll know your and glass it's, it's, when you're at parties. And yeah. it's, it's all the... Any, you, you, I know you're going to ask this question. Does it come in all different colors? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This one's called Dandelion. This is the, the bluebell. Oh, like, it's just amazing. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> well, it's, it's really... I'm thinking they were just table decorations pulled back. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Well, the, the, and then I honed in on The story it. on that was our next door neighbor. He came over with his brothers Very one time. Nice. Uh, because I had Dandelion. given him one of my screwdrivers. And, and they wanted one. So they came over and I took them into my shop. And they're looking at some of the stuff. Well, can you do this? Can you make this? And one of the guys That's said, oh, I, really like, I really like dandelion. Dandelion. Okay. Because I don't think he had this one in stock. I don't um, think. I think, yeah, he's got more of this. He, has he does have one. more. Okay. Because I don't think we got that one. Yeah. I don't remember yellow and green. Dandelion is mm -hmm. what That's what this yeah. pattern style yeah. is really called. <laughs> and uh, then you've got yeah. a bottle opener. Yep. Now this is this is one like a new. This is brand new also. Okay. Bottle opener. A bottle opener. I don't even know what we're selling this one for yet. Mm -hmm. um, and that's fine. I'm just trying to make is, sure I know what you got. <laughs> yeah. This one is actually in Mizzou colors. Yeah. Okay. okay. The black and yellow. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy just next door, he was telling me he brought his brothers over. He's actually the manager of the local high V here. Okay. And uh, he said, you know, he said, when the game time starts. It's a magnetic oh, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Magnetic game. Game. Mm -hmm. When the nice. game time starts, he says, says I, you guys are welcome. You gotta oh, close it up and then kind of push it down in the slot there. No, you do that. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, it's, oh, it's gotta be turned the other way. Yeah. Okay. And That's what she meant. Sometimes these, you, well, you see how how, how slender, slender that slot is mm -hmm. there. 
they're thinking people are going to be making skinny little handles like what you buy in the store instead mm -hmm. of something like this. So if someone buys this, you can lift out this top piece and take an X-Acto knife and just make it fit your... Okay. But it does close yeah. down. Yeah, mm -hmm. it still closes. Now what's and, this? Now this is for our seam rippers. Oh. Called a ripper rest. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> a ripper rest. The, I'm telling you what, those seam rippers can be like a a, a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> it falls on your foot. Okay. Mm. The only complaint people have is that because they're round, they're turned mm -hmm. items, is that they roll. Mm -hmm. And some of them people say, you know, well, they roll right off my sewing table. Mm -hmm. So we made a ripper rest. Perfect. Very nice. Uh, that's not bad yeah. either. Uh -uh. Do they come in the different woods or? Uh, no, we're only no, making so this. This is out just of, a that's, rest. Mm -hmm. That's a cherry. Mm -hmm. That's and a cherry it's, wood. Yeah, it's it's but easy. That's nice. It's easy for him to cut and turn. And I know what these are. This binding is the binder line that uh, Eric was talking about. Yeah. yeah, he was saying, ask them about the winders. That's nice. And then you got. Okay. Um, next mm -hmm. thing is. Screwdrivers. <clears throat> and I will put it through its paces for you. Okay. So this is a full size, the full size set of screwdrivers. Okay. It's a ratcheting screwdriver. You've got your little indicators ending left and right. Okay. And there's a little stop in the middle so it won't ratchet if you don't want it to. Okay. You grab the entire piece, pull it out, and you have four bits. You have large Phillips and flat, small Phillips and flat, and then there's three hex sizes. One, two, oh, wow. and three. Well, and three these are drivers. these are four, five, and six sixteenths. So a quarter, five sixteenths, and three eighths. Okay. Had <laughs> to do the math. <laughs> so, Very nice. But if you put them back, you just you see the little bumps there. You just slide them in until it pops. Slide in the next one until it pops, and then there's a little flange here, and this is the flange on the side of your mm -hmm. piece. You line that up, push the whole thing in until it pops. Okay. Very nice. Right. And these retail for thirty. Now they come in several different shapes. He's got. Uh, this oh, is the ball okay. shape for a lot of people like hold their screwdrivers like this mm -hmm. from the top. Okay. Okay. Um, got the different variations on the... Uh, the handle, more contoured, I Yeah, see. a little, little, little mm -hmm. contour on it. And then there's another shape, I don't think he has one of these, but it's, it's, uh, it's a bump. It's like bump, bump, bump. Okay. You know, just... Okay, and then the shape of cutting boards. We saw yeah. the sewing machine, and she's got yeah, the spades so and the cat and dog. Here's the cat. Okay. Here's, here's the dog. And these are $30. And they got the state of California up there, yeah. just so you can see a state. He can do any of the states here and in Missouri. Then, he just cut these out this morning, so, so we can you can see them. They haven't been sanded yeah. or shellacked yet. Very nice. Yeah, you can have a... This is our seam ripper that comes on a necklace. Is it smaller than the regular seam ripper? Nope, it is. It's the just a seam ripper. It's, it's, but it's a ripper only. Mm -hmm. What you do with this is a magnet mm -hmm. on the end of your chain. You tug it off the magnet. Oh, wow. Then open up your ripper. Do okay. your unsewing. Close it up when you're done. Very nice. And then it goes right back on the Very magnet. Very nice. And I like this wood, too. Mix of the neon yeah. with yeah. the naturals. That one is African violet. That's nice too. Yeah. I don't know why they call it African violet, but that's the... very yeah. nice. Okay, because <laughs> and that's one that's good probably for when you're moving around too. Yeah. yeah. Now some people don't like it because they don't want anything around their neck, mm -hmm. and other people uh, love it. It's mm -hmm. just yeah, it, it's right. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to a, a a retreat or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can keep up you can keep with, it. with it. Yeah, as mm -hmm. opposed to you know wandering around the table Very and nice. disappearing. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Now we had some other colors that you haven't seen yet. Yeah, like that African violet. Yeah, yeah, that was. I just like that one. That's he opened pretty, that up. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pretty pretty. That it's kind of interesting. Uh, most of these really bright ones, 
that's the company that makes the pink and the okay. tequila sunrise. And I found another company that I, I like work with them even better. And they do these slightly, oh, I don't know, they're not quite as bright, but I think color wise, mm -hmm. they've got a better a, a better combination. They they make these yeah, African vinyl. Um, that's the patriotic. Yeah. That was funny. I didn't sell one patriotic. You know, I was surprised. They either don't sell at all at a show, mm -hmm. or we run out the first day. Mm. Yeah, go figure. That one I couldn't believe. Okay, then we've got this one's like green. It's a dark. It's just, this is a not as bright green and blue. Mm -hmm. Then we've got green and, and green and pink. I think it's mm -hmm. purple passion. Now you'll notice there's a lot of different shapes mm -hmm. here. And just thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.